Okay. Well, I think everybody is here. If for some reason during the slides, if you lose connection with me or can't hear me, just shoot me a message on the chat box there, and I'll try to do some troubleshooting to um, get everybody back on. Um, but welcome, everybody. Congratulations. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is my first grantee orientation. This is the first time trying to do a webinar um, through this new software, through your GoToMeeting. So bear with me if, I have, if there's any kind of uh, disconnection or anything, just shoot me a note or a message and I will, like I said, I'll try to troubleshoot shoot that. Um, but I'm so grateful to have everybody here today to go over um, just some very brief information. I hope to keep this pretty brief, um, but also want to answer any questions you might have. Um, this is really just to dig into the details of what to expect during the course of the next few months while you're working on your project. And then, um, you know, of course, any questions that you have along the way, you're always, always, I invite you to reach out to me via email, phone call, whatever you have questions on, please don't hesitate to um, reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And um, first, I'm going to start off with the important deadlines. Um, you made the biggest one of getting your applications in and um, being awarded, so that was all done and taken care of now. Um, our mid-project check-in, um, this is our first year doing a mid-project check-in, and I have done this for a couple of reasons, um, mostly because, um, you know, a lot of times when you're working on projects, you're, you're trucking along, but you don't always um, need to reach out to me, but this is really for me to um, have just a little bit of um, feedback from you at a midpoint seeing where you are with the project, if there are any delays, if there are any you know, concerns for completion, things like that. Um, that'll be on February 1st. Um, the next biggest um, deadline is when funds must be expended. This means that funds have to be spent no later than May 15th of 2017. The final report uh, which, again, is not a super in-depth report, but it does give me a lot of great information that I need to then submit on for my uh, management grant uh, project is due on May 31st, 2017. Um, all projects must begin by March 1st. And I say this because sometimes, uh, just depending upon timing, if you know, monies actually don't need to be spent until a later time, depending upon how your project process is, um, we just ask that all projects begin by that date. If not, or if you fear that it won't be started by that date for whatever reason, then please just be in touch with me so that we can discuss um, what's going on with the project or if you have any concerns about the future of your project. So this is just a little bit more in depth about our mid-project report. Um, awardees will be required to submit a brief mid-project report, so brief that there's really only three questions just providing me a project timeline, what you've already completed, um, and when you completed those things. Also, again, just to let me know if there's any concern with the budget. If you are feeling that you're going to be potentially coming in under budget, that will let me know as well because, um, and I'll go over this a little bit more in depth, but because the mini grant funds come from my management grant through the Maryland Heritage Areas Authority, I utilize those funds um, to support my management grant. So if we come in under budget, that means that I have a deficit that I have to make up. So again, I'll go over that a little bit more in detail, but that this will give me a good indicator if you're feeling that you'll be coming in under budget at that time. Also, if you have any concerns about completing the project by the deadline of May 15th, this is where um, certainly you'll be able to let me know. Um, the final report, um, this will need to include all your final outcomes of your project. What is most important specifically is acknowledgement of the Mountain Maryland Gateway to the West Heritage Area and the Maryland Heritage Areas Authority. Um, what we require is a photo or print documentation of the acknowledgement, how you did that. Was it on a sign? Um, was it in printed materials, et cetera? that would be where you would um, signify that within your report. Also, the second most important thing is your budget and documentation. Um, in your final report, 
there will be a budget table as presented in the final report template. So what you'll do is you'll just complete that template, including all the grant funds that you have expended, your cash match that has been expended, as well as any additional project funding that was completed. So if you went over your spend, that's fine. Just indicate it in the third column, which says additional um, grant funds expended. That would be any over and above that you have spent on the project. Um, MHAA, the Maryland Heritage Areas Authority, like to see um, any additional spend that just shows very good stewardship of their um, of the project. So that is a, is a good thing. Um, also, you'll need to show uh, that to you when your final disbursement will be sent at that time. The 50% will be sent after a review of your report and confirmation that all requirements have been fulfilled. So, of course, you want to know when you get your money, so that's important. <laughs> So going a little bit, diving deeper into acknowledgement, this is so important not only to us, but to the Heritage Areas Authority. It's just showing that, um, you know, that you are acknowledging that these funds are being provided um, not only through the Heritage Area locally, but also through the Maryland State Heritage Areas Authority. And this recognition ensures both organizations that they are shown for their financial support. So acknowledgement should include logos of both organizations as well as the following text, if at all possible. This project was funded in part by. And basically, if you're doing signage, if you're doing brochures, if you're doing um, you know, event production materials, anything printed that can have that information on there is best. Um, and if you have any questions regarding that, um, you can always let me know. And I will be sending you the logos um, so that you will have that for implementation. And before you go to print on any pieces, we just ask that you send us um, a draft template of how that will appear um, to me, just so that I have an awareness of how it's going to look. And if there's any concerns at that time, then I can give you that information. Now, you know, a lot of questions come in about how big it needs to be or, you know, as long as it is there, um, it does not absolutely have to be the most prominent thing on a publication or a sign, but as long as it's there and it acknowledges and it's legible, um, that is appropriate. So it really is, it is something that is super important to MEJA and I, you know, we really enjoy it too because it just exposes the heritage area to all tourism um, visitors as well as residents alike. So um, just a little bit more information on that there. Um, the next second biggest most important thing is the budget and documentation. The reason why this is so important again because these mini grant funds come out of my management grant budget, I am then um, held responsible for those funds. So because of uh, you know any time that you feel that there might be um, coming in under budget, that I do have to make up with my management grant. So it's just something that is important that I know where those funds were spent and how they were spent and if you're going to be under where I would then need to make that up within my budget. Um, that is also why these projects are due um, within the end of May because my final um, report and, or excuse me, the end of my uh, project for the management grant is at the end of June. So this just gives a little bit of leeway time for me to get in your um, report and so that I can then, at that point, know if, if anything needs to be changed on my end um, for the budget. So just this is actually information I pulled directly from the project grant the MHAA does through their larger pool of money. And this is just good information to have as a grantee. Um, all eligible grant funds, oh, I, I actually put that in there wrong. So grant funds and match funds expenditures are listed in the budget. So whatever you indicated in your budget as expenditures, kind of you want to go by that. If it's not listed in the budget, you can't do it without approval. And you can always contact me. If something changes, just be in touch with me and we can look at it together. Um, if it's something, a big change, I would need to then run that by the Heritage Area Advisory Board Grants Committee. If it's something small, we can most likely do that together. And it wouldn't be, you know, not a huge deal. I just need to, you know, make sure it's reviewed if at all possible. Um, you cannot move money around in the budget, again, without approval. So if, if you have one line item that came in under and one that came in over, we can certainly work with you with that. That is not a problem at all. We just need to um, adjust um, information on our end as well. And all grants and matching expenditures must be documented. This is so important 
because uh, MHAA holds us to a pretty high standard of documentation, we must include an invoice or a receipt, receipt excuse me, showing each expenditure. That is a tongue twister. <laughs> then we also must include proof of payment. This can be in the form of a bank statement, credit card statement, or canceled check from the bank. We cannot accept the actual check that was written as proof of payment. They want to see that it has been um, expended on the side of the bank or credit card um, company. So those are super important to us, and I use that as, again, documentation for our cash match. So if I don't have that information, it could come back and say that that is not a um, uh, acceptable um, cash expenditure, and it, I would have to um, make up that uh, shortfall. If you, again, if you have any questions on that, just let me know. Um, and show off your projects. Um, we love to be able to show off what projects have been completed in the area. We want to share through our social media. We want to show through our website. And you know, it's our main goal to support heritage tourism as well as preservation. So for us, to be able to showcase these amazing projects that you guys are working on, this is so important to me. And also, it's important to MHAA to show that you know these, these projects um, have come to fruition and how well they have been received. So definitely please submit your photos with your um, final report, and I will be sure to submit information on our channels as well. Um, so next steps in contact information. So your mini grant agreement, I'm working on. I'm going to be working on those this week, and they should be mailed to you in the next couple of days. So most likely they won't go out until early next week, Monday or Tuesday. Um, we just ask that you sign and return those as soon as possible, mostly because that's when you'll receive your first 50% disbursement check. <laughs> so the sooner you get that back to me, the sooner you'll receive your first 50% payment. Um, once the um, agreement has been submitted, again, as of now, you can already begin your project as soon as you were awarded. But if you um, have any questions regarding that, just let me know so that you are fine to begin um, even before your um, grant agreement has been signed. Again, you all have my contact information, but I just wanted to make sure you do. JanetGarrettChamber.com is my email address, and I try to keep an eye on that all the time. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Or of course, you can call me here at the office. Um, and you know, I do have a lot of out of office meetings from time to time. So if um, you ever need anything, always try to email me as well. Call and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. So I know that was very brief, but I really just wanted to go over um, the biggest pieces of the project um, and you know, the deadlines and everything. Does anybody have any questions? I'm going to try to unmute everybody who might have a phone. Um, if you have any questions now that um, you would like to share with me and the whole group, you can do it through chat or um, via phone, whichever you like. Um, my direct dial phone is 301-387-5233. That's my direct dial. And yes, I will be sharing these slides, and I'm actually recording the webinar today. So I will be making this available um, online as well so that you know, even those who haven't been awarded or maybe in the future, they can refer to this for um, uh, future projects as well. Absolutely. Uh, Jen, I have a question. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, what, what will be will be on the Garrett Chambers site? Online. Uh, it'll be on the uh, GearHeritage.com. Okay. Um, and the other question I had was if 50% um, of the funds are sent ahead, um, yeah. that means we have to have other income in order to spend, in order to justify that we spent it, right? But the money would actually come after the fact, after the project is over, or after May? Well, the first disbursement you'll receive right away after your grant agreement is signed. But your final payment, yes, your final 50% will not be sent until your final report. So it is on a reimbursement. The final 50% is on a reimbursement basis. So correct. You okay, so we really, that we have to make arrangements. We have to make arrangements to have some other monies ahead of time. Correct. Correct, and yeah. that was part of the application was showing that you had that um, backup system there in order to sure. um, have the funds to support. Yes, that's correct. Sure. Okay. 
Thank you. Of course, of course. Anybody else have any other questions? I know I went through that a little fast, but I, like I said, the mini grants are a, a, a quick turnaround. They're, you know, not huge projects, but I just really wanted to go over some of the most important things um, and just to kind of relay all the deadlines and um, requirements. But again, of course, if anybody has any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me um, directly, and I'm very happy to answer anything you guys might have along the way. Use me as a resource. If you're not sure, definitely reach out to me. Um, it's my pleasure to help if I can, and it's, it's easier to to ask first and then and then do rather than go back and I say you know it can't be done for whatever reason if it's an expenditure change or things like that. So I'll, always feel free to contact me. I'm happy to, to help in any way I can. Um, so if, if nobody else has any other questions, like I said, I will make these slides available. I'm going to um, send out the information to everyone that's here today, but I'll also be making it available on GarrettHeritage.com so that anybody can have access to the information as well and um, be able to use that for future use. So I appreciate you guys hey, so again. much taking the time today. Yes. Um, this is Chris. Hey, are you going to okay. do a um, press release or anything in the paper? Uh, yes, we will be doing a press release um, for all of the projects that have been awarded. And um, the I need to make sure that hasn't already be, been done. So I'm going to double check on that. Um, if not, I will be sending that out very shortly. OK, super. All right, great. Would you like photos for that? Um, at this time, I would say no, just because the projects haven't been um, started yet. At the end, um, that's when really the photos will be most important to me. Um, so I would I would say not not at this point. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming today. I really, really appreciate it. And working through my first webinar <laughs> together. This is great. If you need anything, reach out to me. I really appreciate it. And just as an FYI as well, um, we will be getting ready to start our fiscal year 18 project grants. Now, the project grants um, are a bigger pot of money, and they are both capital and non-capital projects. The non-capital projects have a $50,000 maximum request. The capital projects have a $100,000 maximum request. And I do hope to do another webinar prior to that series. That will start in January. The intent to apply is um, due in January. And with those intent to applies, if you um, have a feeling you would like to try to apply for a project, always submit an intent to apply. That just means that you are intending to apply. However, it does not lock you in. If for some reason the project does not pan out and you cannot apply, no problem at all. That is just literally to get your foot in the door so that you have the ability to apply. The first um, uh, deadline is typically early March. And then what will happen is those submissions will come in to us here at the local heritage area. They're reviewed by the local grants committee. And then we send back any suggestions for helps to strengthen your application um, and any information that would assist to do so, then those are finally submitted to MHAA um, around the first or so week of April. They then uh, review them through their technical advisory committee. And I go in front of the technical advisory committee in June. June. And we usually know in early July whether or not um, which projects were awarded. So if you have any big projects on the horizon or if you know of anyone who has bigger projects on the horizon that will benefit heritage tourism, um, preservation, things of that nature, please keep us in mind. It's, it's a great program. I will, I will definitely give out a little bit of a heads up that it is a much more intensive uh, application process and it is highly competitive. The pot of money is um, very tightly um, spread between 13 heritage areas, so um, just keep that in mind, but it is a, a great program, and it, I just kind of say it's, it's the next step above um, the mini grant program, of course, in terms of how much money you can apply for. So just keep that in mind, and I'll, of course, keep everybody abreast of um, all the information, including dates, 
um, MHA has not released those dates as of yet. So once I have more of that information, I'll, I'll be sure to let you all know as well. So again, thank you guys so much. If you need me, reach out, and um, good luck on your projects. I'm excited to see them. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.